Good afternoon, everyone. Hope all is well. I'm going to kick off here on Lesson 6. Again, Lakute Halachot chapter and Restore My Soul. So it's a long lesson. Uh, just be try to be patient through it and then we'll elaborate on it, okay? So it says, Lesson 6, most people have profoundly mistaken concept of the very nature of their own existence, right? And they don't understand that the soul they have been given is drawn from the holiest source. They find it unthinkable, right, that themselves might ever return to God and lead a life that is truly righteous and honest. You can hear this regularly, right? We all can relate to this stuff. We can hear this regularly as soon as people start talking about a particular individual, right, like a Rebbe or a Rabbi of a community who is not worthy for his piety. Or for a moment, there is a stirring in their own hearts and they too yearn to return to God. That is the nature of people of Israel. Right of people of, of Am Yisrael, to be filled with yearning to return to come closer to Hashem. But no sooner do these same people feel the stirring that they immediately stop short. And well, of course, I can hardly compare myself to such a person. He was born that way. It's part of his makeup. It is to say, right, it is to say that what we're saying here is that all the Sadiqim have achieved, uh, had, uh, they have achieved, came only from the intimate holiness of their souls, inherited from earlier generations. But the fact is, is the matter, the fact of the matter is that all these achievements, all these Sadiqim, right, that we know of, came about solely through the hard work and efforts and God's service over a period of years and years, solely because of the termination, steadiness, prayers, entreaties, where they granted the spiritual highs, right? So it's so true. Every single person can achieve the same. The choice is in your hands and you are free to do that. But the crown of a good name is the superior to them all. Due to the mistaken assumption that people have their own lives are not rooted in holiness. Excuse me. They do not trouble themselves to fight the way the Satikin fought. They are suffering from a mistaken identity that originates in the chamber of exchanges. It was there that the infinite prince was exchanged for the son of the slave in Reb Nachman's story, the exchanged children. It was because of the prince assumed that he was merely a slave that he fell to the degraded level that he did. He no longer knew whether he was the son of a king or the son of a slave. About to finish here, it says, It is the same with every single person who is far from God. This has never been more true than today, right? Our bitter exile has endured so long. Today, the evil one waxes stronger and stronger. To the point that an innumerable people have fallen into total despair. They assume that they are totally unsuited to serve Hashem, to God. And all this comes only from arthral institutions of evil inclination. Right? This all comes from evil inclination. He knows we have the power to do it, but he keeps tricking us. Oh, no, 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 you don't have the power. Ah, I give up now. The truth is, it says here, that the soul of every single Jew is exalted and precious beyond measure. What do we know how precious our souls are? They are sons of kings with the power to achieve the highest and the holiest levels, no less than the greatest tzaddikim. For they too have endured strange thoughts and moments of weakness like these. But they were careful not to allow themselves to be pushed off course. They stayed firm. That is how they achieved what they did. Happy are they. So we find it is written. It says, <clears throat> And he lifted up his heart to the ways of Hashem. He didn't give up. He didn't get, he didn't get put down by the uh, evil inclination and go along with, the, with that test and say, You know, I'm just going to fall. No. Yitzhar is testing me. He doesn't want me to do even these classes. I've been tested myself. You know, something comes up and I'm this and that. But no, it's important when you're dedicated to something. It's very, very, very important. You have a commitment. Uh, I'm speaking for myself here. And it's important to keep being committed. When you're committed to something in life, make sure you keep pushing and pushing. Because Yitzhar, it might be easy at first. Trust me. Well, the personal experience in life, different things. It's harder and harder because that's when the real, real growth opportunities are. So let's un, let's try our best to take these growth opportunities when we're tested, and uh, of course pray to Hashem 
but push, 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 because it gets really hard when you're trying something over and over and over, and it, it, it that's when it gets harder. That's a real test. These are huge growth opportunities. Don't push them away. Take advantage of them. Have a great day, guys.